going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to convert any video without losing quality. So for this I am going to be using iMedia Converter Deluxe from iSkySoft and with this software you'll be able to convert any video, any audio and even DVD files to various formats such as MP4, MOV and M4V. So as you'll see I have downloaded my own video using this software which I will show you later. As you can see the format is currently as an MP4 MP4 and we're going to be converting it. So I'm going to select this button here, I'm going to select convert to. Now you'll see it will be taken to this page. Now from here, a good thing about this software, we can actually edit the video. You'll see over here it says edit, so we're going to select this. And as you'll see we have our own little mini editor here and it also puts in subtitles by default. I don't add any subtitles in my video but for this software it adds it for you. So firstly, if you're going to make a thumbnail, you can take one from the video. So for example, right here, maybe. I'm going to select this snapshot button. As you can see, it's been taken and it's saved. Now over to the side, you can choose how you want this audio. It can be normal, it can be stereo, and it can also be 360. Now the next thing is trimming. So if there's parts in the video that you don't want or don't need, for example, right now I will select add trim marker and I will take out the intro to this video. So I'm going to drag this marker here and I'm going to drag this to the part where I just say my intro. So as you can see, I trimmed it down just to this blue marker here. And at the moment, the preference is keep the selected section. However, when it comes to editing, I would prefer delete the selected selection. Now you'll see it will turn red. Now another thing you can do is add multiple trimmers. So I can select this again. As you can see, we now have another one. And we can add another one and another one, as many as you need. The next thing here, we have control of how the video will look. For example, we can rotate it, we can flip it, we can flip it vertically, and here we can even crop. So if I select this, you'll see I can now crop out a section of the video like so. This is also telling us our crop size. You'll see normally, it is 1280 by 720, but this time we can crop it to 941 by 720. So I can select done. And also there is an aspect ratio. So I can select this and we can pick one by default. From here, you are able to control the volume, which is pretty useful because sometimes uh, videos come out quiet, especially if you are going to be downloading music from YouTube. Some of the music is quieter, so this will help you boost the volume. You also get control of the brightness, contrast and saturation. Of course, these three things do make your video look so much more better. And then underneath here, you can add a filter to your video. So maybe if you're doing cinematics, this will be a good thing to add. Here you can add an image and you can add some text and this can be over the top and this is going to be creating a watermark for you. Now the final one is the subtitles. As you can see you can search subtitles if you want to and as you can see the subtitles are going to be saved right here for me and you can customize the way they look by pressing this button here as you can see or you can turn them all the way off just putting the transparency all the way up but of course you get control of the transparency so you can have subtitles and still see through it. And of course, the final thing, you can choose where you want it to be. Now, as you'll see over the side, it says output format. It's currently set to the HTC Vive, but of course I don't have one. So I'm going to select this down arrow. As you can see, we can have them to devices. So this is for VR. It supports HTC Vive, the Samsung Gear 2, I believe, and the uh, Gear, and the Oculus Rift. And we also have Apple products even the old Apple products here, so that's a good thing for those who have it. We have Samsung and we have gaming consoles. And of course, above all that, we have the format. Now these formats are video, audio, HD, web, and even 3D. Now my video is already set to an MP4. So let's convert this to an AVI. And as you can see, it tells us it is set to an AVI. The audio codec is MP3. And over to the bottom here, we have the output folder. Now I'm going to select these three dots. So I made a new folder and it is now saving to my desktop in the folder known as iMedia. So all I'm going to do now is simply select convert. This is going to begin to convert. It's going to be very quick. You can see the preset at the bottom is set to high quality and it is going at a very quick rate. Bear in mind the video I downloaded from my channel was close to three minutes long and this is already at 65% in about 10 seconds. So it's very quick to download. Now also remember, I am downloading the video, not just the audio. Of course, if it's just the audio, it will download so much more quicker. 
So you also get this on your taskbar and as you can see it tells you one task has been finished. You can select open folder and just like that my video has been converted like so. And remember I cropped it off and that is it complete. And another thing you can do like I mentioned earlier was of course burn it to a DVD. So if you come over to burn you can see just drag your media files here. This can be audio, this can be video and as you'll see it can take up to 4 gigabytes depending on the DVD you use. Over to the other side you get control of it, you can choose the quality, of course most people want high quality, it does depend on how much your CD can hold though. And then of course it says aspect ratio, 16 by 9 is the main one used in movies as well. So the final thing I'll be showing you is how to actually download something from YouTube or a video. So I'm going to select add URL and I'm just going to put in my video that I downloaded earlier. As you can see, this is choosing where it saves to. Again, I'm going to change this by pressing the three dots. I choose that same folder on my desktop known as iMedia. Save as you can choose the format you want if you want to change it. This time I will do an MP3 since we converted it as an MP4 earlier. So I'm going to select OK. As you can see, it's going to analyze and now it's going to begin to download. It's a very quick download as you can tell and this audio file is only 13 megabytes. And there we go, once again, one task has been finished, we get that here, if we open the folder, as you can see, here it is right here. But definitely be sure to go ahead and check out the software, a link is in the description. You can download videos from over 1000 sites, not just YouTube. So you can download from Hulu, Facebook, Vivo, Dailymotion and so on. But that is it for this tutorial, I hope this has helped you and hopefully you will benefit from this. Thank you so much for watching, please subscribe, rate and peace.